Hey everybody, WaitingForNextYear.com podcast. I'm here with Brian Spath and we're going to talk about Spider-Man. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good, how are you? Spider-Man Homecoming. We haven't talked about a movie in a long time. Well, no we haven't. I'm going to put my feet up on the table That's here. That's fine. We used, to, we used to talk about movies in terms of expectation first. Because mm-hmm. so many movies... You've got to fix that microphone. Why, where is it? It's just haphazard all over the place. Is it flopping? I don't know. It's hard to put a lapel mic on a uh, t-shirt anyway. No, here, I, I'll just hold it. No, don't do that. Why? Because it's going to make <laughs> a lot of noise. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Where, do, where should I put it? Here? I guess that'll work. But now it's like off to the side. And Where's your audio video team? Yeah. Never mind the fact that Brian came to me introducing himself as a filmmaker. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't hook up the sound. No, it's true. <laughs> Um, all right, so you know, we used to talk about expectations first because mm-hmm. expectations really set up the whole film. So um, in terms of your expectations, where were you on Spider-Man Homecoming? Um, I was, you know, I do that pre-rating thing where I, I anticipate how much I'm going to like it on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, it, this is not a how much I'm looking forward to it. Rather, it's what, what am I going, what do I predict I'm going to rate? I predicted that I would, I would rate it a nine. I'm out at a nine. That's a lofty expectation and a lofty, yeah. you know, performance. Well, when you go for the nine, it's, it's tough to live up to the nine. Well, a lot of people ask me about Father of Us. Mm-hmm. I took, I took Ben. I had a lot of people ask. I found myself talking about this movie public where mm-hmm. normally nobody asks me about kid. Everybody was. Right, right. Um, yeah. I don't know if the lot is going to hold up over time or be bull uh-huh. or anything else. So that I am mm-hmm. wanting to see. There, there's two, as you know, and anyone who's listened to our podcast, Podcast, hardcore a long time. So I would say what this version of Spider-Man got right, other two versions haven't. One, they really, really dove deep on him, including casting someone who looks high school. Yeah. Um, two, he was perpetually in over his head. You know, uh, not a bumbling way, but you know, the the last series with Andrew Garfield, he was always in over his head, but it was played with like this. Oh, I'm so tortured. This was much more like like you're trying to juggle six balls, and you you really can only do three. Garfield was reminiscent. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. It was just like kind of. He was like too cool to be yeah. Peter Parker. <laughs> like um, the other thing they really nailed in this that that the other two definitely didn't do was, was he loves being Spider Man. Fun for him, and it's fun. If you're 15 and you have these powers, it's awesome. It is so fun. And, and the other two never really... Now, it's also this colossal burden, this responsibility that he feels, and they nailed that too. But the other two never really dove into, in a, in a big way, how fun this would be and how awesome it would be. And like, oh my God, I get to hang out with Iron Man. This is the coolest thing I could ever... You know what I mean? And, and they, that was woven through it over and over. And right, right from the first time you see him um, put on the costume, where like he gets out of school and he can't wait to go get it on. Because there, there's also the layer of that of that like for a, for a awkward teenager, it's like, oh my god, I can go hide. You know, I, I can go hide behind this mask and really do what I want without everyone being like without one worrying what everyone's gonna think about me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it really nailed that that part of it. That, and that, that's what I really think this got right that the other ones didn't, especially the fun part. Not, and not only that, we're all planning Marvel over mm-hmm. the last... Yeah, Iron Man was just there. And it feels like it's part of the wider story, but mm-hmm. it's still um, all much different. Than- yeah, and I, I really... The other thing they did really well is that this was just a very scope of like these Avengers movies and the Marvel movies. Like, this was a very small threat. You know, it was this isolated little corner of... Iron Man even says, like, this is, this is below our, my pay grade, you know? <laughs> Like we don't deal with petty criminals like like dealing weapons like that's not our thing and and which Spider-Man is, is which like is a, really interesting when God right in Thor and like <laughs> right right so um but yeah that Spider-Man has always been described in his best form as like a street level hero burglars and robbers and that type of the fact that that the big massive climax was just a plane is very constrained and I, I appreciate it I always wondered how or yeah 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 yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, and and and, mm-hmm. and I think they did. Um, yeah, if you think too hard, probably like why would you ever leave out? Leave right? Why wouldn't I, that? I mean, protect any, everybody all the time. Any of these things, and yeah. they've been saying this about the comics for fifty years. Is well, how come in this issue of Iron Man he doesn't just call Thor? Well, because you just don't. I mean, that's that's right. conceit of the genre. You just accept it. Just like when when mall rats, mall rats. When right, right, right. It's like hey, yeah. we just don't. Yeah, we just don't get obsessed with it's, that. It's kind of like once you're asking those questions, you're 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 too old for it. You've, you've lost. You've outgrown things. it. So let it go or accept it for what it is. You know, 
I always say, you know, people don't ask why Bart, Sim why Bart Simpson does. He just doesn't. It's part of the Simpsons. Like, it's always eight years old, you know? Same thing with... That's why, like, at the end, I'm, like, so glad he didn't join the Avengers because, like, he, he got to kind of keep the status quo to keep the character character. Because, yeah. like, you know, Peter Parker's always in over his head. Well, at some point, when you're, if you make him, like, 35, like he is in the comics now, like, he's in over his head. He's kind of a loser. Like, <laughs> like get it together, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um... You know, I, no, I was just, I was really happy with it. I thought all the performances were great. I thought the, the, uh, I, I, the one thing I thought I would question was like the, because that kind of takes him away from being like, um, it takes away some of the, it over headness. But, um, I don't know. It just, it, it worked within the story yeah. and it made sense. And it, I don't think it took away from the character so well, much. And it also worked that he, yeah, he didn't, yeah. It's, you know, it was too much. Yeah. What they, um, yeah, and, and the fact that he ran into problems with, yeah, him. yeah, it was it was definitely great humor. Um, and uh, the the other thing I thought was kind of cool with him having that, especially the destroy thing. Yeah, 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 the they, destroy they, mode or they whatever. Kept acting like there was a destroy mode, and yeah. he's like, no, no, why would I want? That? Yeah, yeah, he's like, I don't, don't want to do that. And the uh, interrogation, the interrogation mode scene was really funny. It was well <laughs> yeah. done. Um, but I liked him having that AI to talk to because, like, a big thing in the Spider-Man comics was always, like, as he's web-swinging around town, he's always, like, having the thought bubbles, like, kind of going through all his problems and talking to himself. And this was a way to, like, like kind of translate that over without having some awkward, like, voice. I, I, I thought that... And I, I, maybe I'm making it up, but it, they, they did. They, the, the first movie. The first movie had a voiceover. I'm not sure about the other one. I liked the second one by far the best. Yeah. I, I, by a long shot. I liked the Tobey Maguire movies, but that was very early in all of this. And I Certainly think I... not the third one. No, the third one was bad. Although it, it, it had elements that I liked. The first one was pretty good, but there's... I thought the second one... second one was definitely the best. It, it holds up pretty well, but I never loved Tobey Maguire in that role. No. It wasn't quite right. Again, he wasn't... He was mopey all the time. I didn't think that that fit necessarily. Um, but there, there's some element of like... You know, I always say about like the X-Men movies, which you know I, I don't really like. like. If those had come out in like 1995, I would have thought they were the greatest movies. And I think... There's some element of um, first Spider-Man movie. <laughs> we see this. We see this. Yeah. You just can't five-piece cars. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a well-worn trope. Like, you can you can have good stuff out of that genre. Right, right. You know, I argue with people. Never going to revolutionize. Mm -hmm. You just cannot do it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah, at some point. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, I mean, they, they. You know, it's interesting. They're set, not going to stop making movies. No, but they said. You know, there. There have always been other people who have stepped into these roles, like characters in the comics. Like right now, there's Iron Man is actually a 15 year old uh, black girl. Um, cause, and I laugh because that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's. But she's a really popular character. There's a. There's a. Um, there's a second Spider Man in Miles Morales, and he's a black Hispanic kid. Kind of. He. Peter Parker now in the comics is like. He's like 35. He's like basically Tony Stark. He's the head of the Spider Plane. So. But they brought in this Miles Morales, who who is a fills that role. But they they alluded to him in this movie, this in this universe. Donald Glover's character in the comics is Miles Morales. Head. I've got a nephew. So so they they've, they've already set up like, hey, if when when Tom Holland gets too old, we've got this Miles Morales character sitting there. Um, so yeah, I think they have ways to, and the way they've done this is so good. How they have the the single movies, and then they all come together in the Avengers. They can weave these things in without them being without doing a reboot or without making it too right. interesting. If I had one complaint, yeah, that yeah. one that one got a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely like a lot of people called it Avenger Five, which yeah. <laughs> I could see, but I loved it. So I don't oh, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. But. Yeah. Although I'd say they still kept that primarily Captain America story. I mean, it, it, did. it was you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens after these next two Avengers. I thought Michael Keaton mm. wasn't. Yeah, 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 Spider Man yeah, yeah. doesn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like. I, I do. The only thing I wish about his character, I wish they they balanced him out a little bit more. Spoilers. He, he when he killed like like a perfect time to do it when he is when he killed that henchman of his by accident. I wish they had shown like kind of like it was momentary. Yeah, kind of more like oh god, now this is what I am now. I mean, I mean just to, re to reflect for a second, be like I guess I'm a murderer. Like, <laughs> you know what? And that did it happened. In yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. I thought that was. It, the gra it was a gravity ray. Gravity ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, um, but overall, I, I loved it. So, you're going to see it again? Is this a yeah, multiple Yeah, I, I definitely will. I, okay. I, was, I cried. So, I cried at the Marvel Swope <laughs> in that old six. Because the whole subtext of that homecoming title. Glad, well, yeah. glad we got to catch it. Were you bummed about the calves? Or? No, it's hard for me to, to get out it. No, you're pretty outraged when they mm. But then, they would get away from it. Yeah, it's right, not right. going to sell it. But, question for you. Yeah. Was this behind the scenes? <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Like, oh, would he do it though? Would he even want know. that? I don't know, but value. Like I think it joked about him being the GM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What's the difference? Like guy who makes a million dollars who under salary cap. Right, stuff. right. I mean, frankly, what you have then is a guy who probably has better relayers. Um, yeah. Perceptually, the organization looks like it's all like the players, like guys. I don't know. I'm so like, you know, I gotta I, honestly like. I feel like when they won in 2016, it was like everything I ever wanted it to be. And I almost feel like I closed the It's almost like, well, I did it, you know? <laughs> I just don't, I didn't really, I mean, I, I obviously wanted them to win this year and I was you invested in it. You beat Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, I, I don't Level feel like. one dash one again. I can't, I can't, can't draw out the energy for it. It's, you know, maybe if we were a, a city that years and it was like a vibe, but I feel like it was. I, okay, yeah, it, was, that. it was 37 years in the movie. Yeah, and it was perfect. It was perfect. There's nothing about it I would change. And, I, and it felt better than I thought it would feel. And, uh, and I, was, I was there in the building, and then I went to the parade, and I just, I don't, I can't beat that high. And I don't... Both listen to Gary. Mm-hmm. He talks about his... Yeah, yeah. And then other times he says, like, the worst day of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I love, I love the journey. I love the yeah. asset. You know, building up enough money where I could make the down payment. Yeah, yeah. But, and why, you yeah. Know, it's yeah. like... Got a champion. Yeah, you're not waiting for next. <laughs> I'll well, never let you forget how right I was about that. Yeah, so for those for those at home, Brian, without explanation, yeah, we did it. The guy who likes Marvel movies, <laughs> they'll never stop making more movies and never stop recasting people. That, the Marvel that Marvel is an ongoing saga by definition. So is Cleveland. No, it's not. It's over. <laughs> but you're you're then you should have called your site something else. <laughs> Yeah, I went to uh, WFNY registered. You should just put a little again. Um, I don't know. Hey, the Indians might do it. Good, I haven't paid attention. Good and under... Uh, well, that's pretty normal for them, right? That's f- Yeah. That idea. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, that's the last thing I want to yeah. do, is that I love crashing into the earth, pragmatic standpoint. Yeah. Like, like, get all that alien contamination. And yeah. I, I thought that was something that I thought about mm-hmm. over the years. Yeah, the small bits of connective tissue and you know, all this stuff is really surprising. I never... I mean, I didn't read anything about the... Oh, yeah, of course. That makes sense. Like, it's just like really... Everything they do... The Marvel... The whole Marvel machine is like just really like a dream for me. <laughs> well, that's a perfect place to stop. Thanks for talking about home.